Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope uh, today is absolutely uh, a successful, abundant day for you. And no matter where you are, that you are safe. If you don't know who I am, by all, uh, allow me to introduce myself. This is Heal Talk Tuesdays, and I am Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist and women's wellness expert. Today we're going to be talking about something that just happened a few days ago. So I flew to Dallas uh, for a uh, special two-day meeting with the publisher of uh, one of the books that I have been co-author with. Met amazing, powerful women and uh, coming back on the plane as I was sitting um, first when I get on the plane, you know, one of, one of the things is I love flying. Uh, so to me, it's so exciting to get on a plane. But I've realized through all the travels that I do, not everybody loves flying. So when I get on the plane right off the bat, I say good morning or good afternoon to the stewardess. I smile and I start with thanking them for being there and flying. So once I find my seat, this is what happened this weekend. So I'm sitting and then there is uh, a woman next to me and I happen to be right in the middle and another gentleman that was very much busy and uh, he had his earphones and everything. He sat down buckled and it was like right off the bat um, in his own zone. So this lady sitting next to me, she is on the uh, window side and I saw her trembling as she was putting the buckle on, the seat belt on. And so a few moments later, she looks at me and she says, I am uh, a little bit nervous. So if you don't mind, uh, just be aware that I might be holding onto the seat and everything. This is my second time I'm flying and I, I don't like doing this. My husband is not with me this time. So I'm really worried. And I said, not a problem. This is a cinch. I love flying. So why am I bringing this up? Because sometimes what we think, what we believe, becomes our reality. So what is it that I do in my work, working with my clients who come with panic, anxiety, and fears, I start sharing this. Your thoughts have consequences so great that they create your reality. Have you ever been to a place or in your lifetime that you wanted something so bad and it became a reality maybe not right away because so many say oh I can manifest anything and then there's others others who cannot manifest much they they can hardly visualize it or know what it is that they want let alone manifest it so I want you to give to give you a formula thoughts plus feelings they create your result. So her sitting there, being nervous that she was, she had already created a thought pattern. I'm going to be, okay? And then she said she is going to feel anxious and maybe uh, this is what's going to happen. So she's all, she was also telling me what the physical response was going to be. Why? Because maybe she had already experienced it or she thought that was going to happen. So attitudes in life are shortened states of being. 
And when we string series of our attitude together, her attitude towards plain, flying, fear factor, when we put all that together, that's when it becomes a belief system. She comes to believe in that, and it is her belief that it's elongated or repeated that states it being and it becomes a part of the subconscious mind. So when we add an attitude and we add a belief system, the subconscious mind, which is like literally the body, thoughts are the being, it comes to record it, store it, and apply. So my response was, it's okay, because that's your perception. Do you mind if I change your perception? She's like, what do you mean? And we started talking and I shared with her, what is it that I do? And I said, as a clinical hypnotherapist, one of the things that I do with my clients, I help them with fears of flying, anxiety, panic. And she's like, really? That works? Like, would you like to be hypnotized or would you like me to talk about it? By then, the stewardess, everyone is saying, okay, let's get ready. We're getting ready. So as she puts her hand, <laughs> this was so beautiful. She puts her hand on the side as because she was on the window and I was right in the middle. And I said, do you mind if I hold your hand? She says, oh, would you please? So I placed my hand on top of her hand, not holding. So I placed my hand on top of her hand and I said, you are safe. That's all you need to know. So to experience any change, I you need to have a, a, a perceived outcome. And what I created was, you're going to be safe. Now, her routine, her routine, her thoughts and everything has been perpetuated by a reality that she had created, maybe flying to Dallas or any other time with her husband. So I needed to shift that. If you've ever experienced this, let me know. We need to shift in order for us to be different. We need to change the reality. The reality of what we think it can happen. It's not real. It's just a thought. Um, that's what worry is. Worry is something we worry about. We create this negative uh, thoughts, patterns, the body starts reacting to it, the palpitation starts, and we think, oh, this is the end of it. So, change requires coherence. When we align our thoughts and our feelings together. So, when we think of an end result, but in our heart, we feel differently, it doesn't work because they're not aligned. So clear, focused thoughts is what brings everything together. I like to say thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. So. Throughout the flight, almost three hours, I started talking about, asking her, and then very calmly, we started talking about family, where she was coming from, what was she in Dallas for, and it became a conversation. And this conversation, guess what? By the time we landed, 
she and I got to know one another. Um, I learned a lot about her, that she is a wife, they have uh, two children, their children are married, they have grandchildren, one of the grandchildren is autistic, we started talking about that. So, we can sit anywhere in life. And it doesn't matter if you're in traffic, at the doctor's office, on a plane, um, even going to a supermarket. How you connect with others. And maybe it's just being aware of your surrounding to keep yourself safe. And maybe extend a hand with a thought, with a word to someone else. By the end of it, it's called gratitude. Because when we are full of gratitude and gratefulness, there is a joy, there is trust, there is good energy inside us. And if I were to say that little thing was absolutely amazing because this morning I opened my mail and I, that's what I wanted to share. And I get what? A beautiful card from her. And it says, Lisa, thank you for the mini whatever you did to make me feel safe. You were a godsend sitting next to me. Your voice is enough to soothe anyone. P.S. You are better than any relaxant pill. Any one of us can extend a hand and help someone. Any one of us can go on a trail, walk, and be in on our zone and realize that with each and every breath that you take, with each and every essence of who you are, grounded with Mother Earth, and being grateful to everything that surrounds you, and you can count your blessings and you start with your body and family, your immediate family, extended family, that you are able to walk, that you can see, you can breathe, you can function, every part of who you are. And if there is a discord or dis-ease within you, become mindful. And if you could place your hand, that part of your body that is in pain, and send this beautiful thought and a feeling of love and joy to that part, as if communicating with that part. And you can just tap and tap here when you tap right here. It's, uh, I call it, play the small little violin because there is this little uh, a dent right here, which is a pressure point. Acupuncturists use it. And I like to call it, and I tell my client, use your thumb, which is your mind factor, and the index that points forward in life and just massage, massage the interior of your, the palm of your hand and play the violin ever so gently and say, I can handle this. And that's one of the techniques I taught her. Her name was Shannon. And so gently just go, I can do this. I am safe. I am in total control. I can handle this. And easily and gently, the palm of your hand, which is the core of who you are, and with your thumb, is like my mind and body are connected. And we do this massaging, your body relaxes, your mind becomes connected to your body without understanding what exactly you're doing, but your body understands that you are soothing. 
with the words of I am safe, I can handle this. This is the hand that can handle because you, your thoughts are saying so. It incorporates into your subconscious mind. I'm my lovely friend, Chris Gota and I started the original show and Chris and Lisa, uh, and that's one of the things we would do, share some tools and techniques with our viewers. And then this part says, is it true? Yes, it is true that your subconscious mind really is the driver of everything you do in life. So if there is a fear factor, if you are afraid of something that has been a perception of you and it's not real, is it true that you are going to crash? Is it true that you are not safe? Is it true that you, whatever. And when you think about it, you, you can turn around and say, well, it's not true. It's me feeling it or thinking it. And that can be changed. Again, that part can be changed because it's perceived reality. It is not true. My name is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist. And rec recognizing that when we heal, when we evoke what was, that means revert back to a time and a place where that perception, that thought, that perceived reality became a reality and the emotions got connected to the thought process. We bring you to embrace what is, which is the reality right now. Is it true? Is it a fact? Or is it your perception? your idea, your imagery. That's how we evolve to the desired goal and what it is that you really desire and want in life. So, today's message is all about you having full control and knowing that you can handle so much more. And if there's anything from fear factor to insomnia, wanting to drop your weight, not lose, and any feminine issues that you may have, by all means, I'm here for you. Until next week, I bid you goodbye and I thank you for being here. Bye-bye. God bless. And may the universe of light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.